Hi YouTube, Katie here, and today we're going to talk about the SIGO T. It's a 100 watt temperature control regulated mod, and it's a kit that comes with the tank, and you also will get five coils in that kit. Well, right now we're going to go to the tank and we're going to look at it a little bit closer. So we'll come back and talk about it after that. Well, you can get a better feel of it. This is the silver tip. It also comes with the black tip. Here is the button. Nice hand grip. Here is the bottom screen. You can adjust your temperature. Oopsie. Up and down this way. Here is the tank. It says clear tank T on it. You can only go so far. It's not all the way around, but it is on both sides. Take the tip off for you. Here's the off the tip. Here is what you move to open and close the juice flow. There it is all the way open. We'll open up the tank for you. As you can see, my coil is shot. And I only got one for the review. You can only use their coils. It says NI200.2. And that's it in a nutshell as far as up close and personal. It is very simple, very easy to use. And there you have it. Let's go back up to the FaceTime. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, it is um, it does have some features that are um, more than basic. It's not just a basic tank, but um, but as far as how it functions, I would compare it to a basic tank. Um, as you could see, we have the juice flow, uh, the ability to limit that by twisting up here, and we have airflow here, which isn't as big as I would hope it to be. But there that, at least the tip doesn't get hot. Ha, huh, I'll say that. Um, also, the, what they give you are nickel coils. And um, like you guys probably know before, I have not messed around with a lot of nickel stuff. I really wasn't interested in it. Um, but with getting this, I had no choice but to play with nickel mode. So um, doing temperature control was actually a nice. I actually enjoyed the way that this vaped in temperature control. Um, I will say though, I'm not fond of their coils. I think that the coil that they gave me, they gave me one for the review. Um, I think it's on its way out and actually I would have changed it about a day ago had I not <laughs> needed to do this review and then been out of coils. You can only get their coils from Sigo.com right now, but the manufacturer told me that they are going to make it easier. You're going to be able to get Canthal coils and you're going to be able to get their nickel coils in the store very soon. So that's good. Um, as far as this mod goes, it is very beautiful, as you can tell. The pink is beautiful. And they and they also have a blue, and I think it's a gray color as well. But I do have a hang up though. Here is where your um, here is where your screen is, and I do not like that. I mean, actually, look, this I've had it for a week, and if you can see, it's already starting to get a little bit scratched up. I really wish they would have placed their screen like here or here. I don't know. I just think that it needs to be somewhere else other than the bottom because I set it down just like that. And guess what? My buttons are getting hit. The screen is getting hit. Um, that's just how it is. We all set our mods down unless we set it down on our sides, which we don't do that. I, at least I don't. I don't know about you guys. I don't do that. But as far as this mod goes, um, for the temperature control, um, I did put some other tanks on it and put it in wattage mode. Um, and with that, um, it does hit it just fine. Now I will stay. I don't think it gets as hot as other 100 watt mods that I've uh, played with, but as far as where I would place this, I give this a B as far as rating goes. It's very appealing. It's very lightweight. The hand placement is very comfortable, and plus you get to flash the Sigo T when you're vaping it, 
which is nice. Um, great colors. I think it's a great design, minus the screen being on the bottom of the mod, um, which I really am not a big fan of. Now, it is built-in batteries. It says two Samsung 18650 built-in batteries. Um, so they do send you a charger. You do get a charger with it. It's a USB charger, so you have to have the, um, it doesn't plug right into your wall, so you have to have a little USB converter thing, whatever. But yeah, you need to have that to function it. Um, but yeah, as far as the box goes, your box will look different than mine. You will get an extra tip, but you're also gonna get five additional coils, whereas mine, because it's a sampler, only got one coil which I really wish they would have sent, uh, sent me a Canthal coil as well. That way I could be more subjective and hit it in both modes. But I will say that I've taken this tank off and fired it up on my Segele and it's fine. Um, turned it into temperature mode, of course, because it's a nickel coil. And I will say that I put other tanks on this mod and it's fine. It's not as powerful as I would have anticipated it to be. It's not as powerful as my Segele, my 150 Segele, even a hit in 70 each, whatever. But, you know, you know, that's just something to think about. But as far as the mod goes, it is very nice. It is very appealing. Um, it's currently $79 at Sigo.com, and I think you can get it as low as $74 at, like, other retailers. Um, I think that price point's a little bit high, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that this price point should be around $60, $65. I don't think it should be $75, $79. Um... And it's just because I just believe that you can get um, other mods, you know, such as the Kanger Subbox Nano. Um, you can get that whole setup for 50 bucks, and that's a nice, decent setup. I'm not saying this isn't. This is a very nice setup. This is a very nice mod, and I, I would probably buy another one if this one broke down on me for some whatever reason. Um, I would like those features to be changed, you know, my little hang-ups. I would like their coils to be better, and I would like for their coils to be interchangeable with other coils. It really stinks that I can't just go grab a pack of Atlantis coils and stick it in this tank and use this tank. So, I mean, that's something definitely to keep in mind. If you're going to buy this offline, I suggest and I recommend get a crap ton of coils to go with it. That way... Um, you're not sitting without it. And like once I said, after this review, I'm going to have to take this coil out and toss it. And then I'm done until I order more coils from Sigo.com. So that's something to think about, people. So I just want to put that out there. Now, um, like I said, I would not categorize this mod with mods like the Sigeli 150. Or, you know, this is more in the category as maybe a step above the Kanger Subbox Nano. Just slightly so. You who vape. Um, like I said, below 80 watts maybe. Um, the temperature I had to hit this on to even get it warm was um, 490, 500. And I think that's what did my coil in because going lower than that, I wasn't satisfied with the flavor hit that I was getting. So that's something to think about. Now, I wouldn't say this is a beginner mod because, like I said, it comes with nickel coils and I really don't want to tell a beginner to go out and start messing with nickel and making sure that I don't want them to forget to put it in temperature control mode and then just bad things happen. But, I mean, there is that. It's uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I said, it's 100 watt variable volt and variable wattage and then... Yeah, it comes with the nickel coils on it, and it comes with the charger, and it comes with the extra tip. If you want to change out your tips, if you want to see it, wah, you want to see this one on there too, I can show you. So there it is with that tip. Either or is fine. Either or doesn't matter to me. And I'm sure you guys want to see this thing vaped, so I will vape it for you. Now keep in mind, I've been vaping this pretty hard for a week trying to get this review up. Um... And this coil's about done. <laughs> it's about done. I wish I would have gotten two coils. That way, you know, I would have got the device, vaped it, and gave it a run, and make sure it's functioning the way that it should be. And then a coil to change for the review. I mean, that that would have just been nice. Even if it, I would have preferred a Canthal coil so that I can compare and contrast between the NI200 coils and the Canthal coils. So that's just something I'm putting out there to Sigo. Um, if you send these out for review, try to think about giving one of each coil. That way, your reviewers can have a full, broad 
uh, experience with the mod. Now, like I said, I did put other tanks on this mod and it worked just fine. And I put other, um, I put this tank on other mods and it worked just fine. But remember it was a nickel coil, so I had to adjust the settings. I just want to make sure you guys understand you have to adjust the settings. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and vape this for you. That way you can see it vaped and you can tell me what you think. Like I said, that is at 490 degrees. With this nickel coil, that is about to go kapoo. I, I took it out and I cleaned it up and it, it's about done. It's I would have changed it personally had I had another coil for you guys. So, so it's still performing okay. So let me hit it over here. I'm going to take it up to 500, wa uh, 500 watts. Wow, that would be hot. I'm going to take it up to 500 degrees. It was at 490. Um, when I first got this thing, 500 was okay. But... Now that the coil's starting to go, definitely dropping it down to 490 was the better decision, but I'm going to show you at 500. Yeah, I'm going to pick it back down to 490 because, like I said, this coil's about ready to go to heaven. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So... Do I recommend this mod? Sure. Yeah. Do I think this should be your everyday mod if you already have other mods? No. You're going to want it for like, for looks, for show, because it is beautiful to show off. I had so many people go, what is that? It's attractive. Very attractive. And it does the job. So it vapes well. So do I think you should get one? Yeah, maybe. I would wait though until the price point comes down. I like I said, I do think $79 is a little bit too high a price point for this. Maybe they could get away with $69, but that, that $10 really does make a difference. Uh, I don't don't think it should cost as much, especially since you can get the Segele $150 for $69 and the Segele $200 for uh, $69. Um, I know that that's not a kit and that this is a kit, so I can really only compare it to what I also have bought, which is the Kanger Subbox Nano, which it is a step above that. Um, definitely, that's more of a beginner mod. This is a medium in the middle kind of mod. So yeah, if you want an attractive, very appealing, an eye-turning mod, because I promise you, people are gonna look like, what is that? I mean, cause it's sexy. She is sexy. And Sigo is excellent at making colors stand out. I mean, this just stands out. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, people look like, what is that in her hands? You know, yeah, I got this, yeah. I was rocking it in the car, people looking. I'm rocking it, but <laughs> you know, you know how we do. We're like, oh yeah, we vape. <laughs> but yeah, no, it is sexy. And I've had so many people ask me about it. And the two ladies who asked me to get my hands on it to review, thank you. I'm glad that I did. Um, it is a nice mod. I do think that you might be happy with it, but I would say buy a crap ton of coils because I don't know when they're going to start being available here in the States at the stores or at online stores where you can just shop and have them sent to your house. I have no idea. So, and I wasn't really, I didn't really get clear information on that either. Um, it just said soon. They just said soon that it'll be available, which, okay, that's fine. Soon is good enough for me, so they will be more readily available to you. Now, like I said, I really wish I could have tried this in wattage mode and tried Canthal coils. I really wish they would have thought about that and sent me some Canthal coils to give it a shot. Maybe if I can get my hands on some, I'll update my review and maybe do a update Sigo T100 review if I can get my hands on some Canthal coils. But yeah, the whole, I mean, it, the rating comes down to a B for me for a couple things. The price point, I think is too high. Uh, the second reason why I gave it a B is because the coils, you can only use their coils and they're not readily available here in the States. Um, the third reason I give it a B, the screen on the bottom that is going to get scratched to crap and already I've had it a week and it's almost scratched to crap. <laughs> so that that's another reason. And the fourth reason why I give it a B, I don't think it's as powerful as it should be for a hundred watt mode. Um, and I just, I think that even when I put my other tanks on it and I put it in um, wattage mode, it just didn't seem to be as powerful as hot at certain degree, at certain wattages as it should be. So yeah, those factors aside, those factors aside, and like I said, keep in mind, I did give this a B. 
um, and it's sexy. It is beautiful. So you want to get your hands on one of these babies, go to Cigo.com, C-I-G-G-O.com and order it and get a crap ton of coils. And I recommend trying out the Cantal coils. I don't know. I'm not a nickel person, so I would probably buy both just to be sure. And I've only vaped this in a nickel as far as this whole setup. So that's all I can go off of is the 500 degrees. I've kept it at 490, 500, and 510. Anything higher than that, it was not good, didn't taste good. Um, anything lower than that, there wasn't a good flavor for me at all. But again, that's personal preference. So here, I'm going to hit this again for you so you can have another look at it, and then I'm going to go. Yeah, it's good. And the flavor is decent. It does come off very well. So check out Sigo Tea from Sigo.com and, you know, give it a shot if you'd like. The beautiful colors. And I do think they have some other things coming out in the future that I'm going to get my hands on to review for you as well. So it'd be nice to compare and contrast um, those items as well. But I'm going to check you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and also share this video so other people can see it as well. Um, Goodbye, guys, and you guys have a great day.